guys, welcome back to Adventures with Rosie. This afternoon we drove from Raglan to Maracopa, which is on the west coast of the North Island. And this is our home for the next few nights. So this campground uses the Kiwi uh, cash card system. Kiwi camp cash card? Something like that, I can't remember. But you basically have a small little dongle that you load up with credit and the whole camp is automated. So swipe your dongle for the showers, um, for hot water, $2 for five minutes. You swipe at the gate to get in and you can book online or just show up and swipe your card and it'll charge you. Um, swipe for the laundry, which we had a bit of trouble with. And um, yeah, kind of a cool system. It looks like um, this used to be part of a bigger campground behind us here there's like a building that says kitchen and some old tennis courts so I wonder if this was once a holiday park that um, you know just wasn't busy enough so they've made it kind of this autonomous campground kind of cool and we're the only ones here well we had some wet clothes so we thought we would give the laundry a test and we swiped our little card but got the washing machine going and not the dryer so we were after the dryer didn't manage to get it going. Charged our card four dollars, which is a bit of a shame. We're really impressed by how clean these facilities are. You'd think for a campground in the middle of nowhere, although that laundry shed is a little bit uh, has a few holes in the walls and a few broken windows. <laughs> the um, the toilets and showers are really spotless, and um, someone's obviously coming out here and cleaning them. All the bins are emptied. Um, yeah, grass is nicely mown. It's a it's a really tidy campsite. We're guessing this is the original camp building behind us here um, because it says shop and office on it and also um, kitchen on the side and all the signs are in the same font that the signs are in there. So this must have been all one holiday park. There is a sign up there that says coffee as well, but <laughs> unfortunately in Maricopa, no cafes. Well, fortunately, I guess as well, it's nice to be off grid, but there's no cafes, no shops, no petrol station here either. Um, the nearest petrol is probably an hour and a half that way. So, um, definitely need to bring everything there's actually even no fresh water at the campground that's drinkable um, there's fresh water for cleaning fish and stuff but it's all tank water and they don't recommend you put it into your caravan so you have to bring absolutely everything you need over here but it's well worth the trip what's for tea love uh, making a bit of pasta tonight Good morning, day two here in Maracopa. Um, had a really great night last night. This place, as you can imagine, is super peaceful. No one's driving around at night. Um, the waves are just a block away, the, the ocean rather, so you just hear waves crashing all night. It got a little bit chilly. Um, there's a bit of a wind this morning as well, but um, hopefully that'll die down. Sun's out, so can't complain. So the plan today is to head back over the road, not all the way over the road. Um, so we took the road between um, Waitomo, Caves Village and Maracopa and along that road is three things of interest there is the Maracopa Falls which is a huge waterfall um, there is the natural bridge which is like a natural I think it's limestone bridge sort of a canyon through the middle bridge over the top looks looks incredible um, all these sort of neat rock formations around there as well and there's a cave. I can't remember the name of the cave, but there's a free cave you can go into. And it's got a bunch of steps leading down into it. So um, we are going to go to the natural bridge first. It's furthest away from us. They're not actually, they're kind of halfway between where we came from yesterday in, in Waitomo and uh, Maracopa. So we kind of need to backtrack about 20 minutes and then we'll work our way back. So the natural bridge is the furthest away about 20 minutes from here and then we'll work our way back through the other three so the girls are ready for their morning sleep so it's prime opportunity for us to jump in the car shoot up there and um, yeah have a bit of an adventure and uh, I think this afternoon we'll just come back maybe take a walk along the beach this evening um, when the tides out you can go right around the rocks so 
we need to find a local to talk to and see if the tides are right because um, we've got no cell phone service out here at all. So can't check the tides. So um, we we will uh, hopefully go for a walk around there. It's not the sort of place you want to get caught out in the in a high tide. So we'll find a local, ask him or her, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Alright, we're here at the Natural Bridge. It's about halfway between Waitomo and Maricopa. This place is incredible. We're the only ones here and the landscape is just mind-boggling. Done. How cool is this place? There's walkways down the edge of all these cliffs. There's water spewing down, river behind me, swing bridge as well. This place is magical. So the first part of the uh, track into the natural bridge here is actually wheelchair, pushchair friendly, which is quite nice. It's only about 10 minutes from the car park. Um, the swing bridge is nice and wide. It's really flat, which is good. Um, there is a loop track you can do, but you have to come up and over the stairs. Uh, so yeah, that part's not wheelchair friendly, but the first part is, which is pretty good. Alright, stop number two on the adventure today is the Pity Pity Caves. Um, Chelsea's disappeared down there, apparently the stairs go down forever. <laughs> so we're going to go check it out. We didn't bring any torches, did we? Just the uh, torches on our cell phones. All right, time for a bit of an evening stroll along the beach. The winds died down, which is nice. Um, just found a huge dead cow behind us. <laughs> that looks like it's about to explode. We couldn't figure out what it was. Thought it was a round rock with four legs poking up in the air. Yeah, uh, smells a bit ripe. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, we have loved our time here in Marukopa. It's one of those spots in New Zealand that is kind of like off the beaten track, super remote, kind of like the East Cape. Um, we went around the East Cape of the North Island uh, probably a year and a half, two years ago now in our old uh, Rosie. I'll link that playlist up here somewhere. That was super beautiful as well, but really kind of remote, rugged, no cafes, not a lot of internet service, that sort of thing. But um, that's what we really love and, and that's kind of the point of, um, of having a caravan like this, right? That's all set up for off-grid so we can go to those peaceful places, those beautiful places um, that aren't so busy. So that's what we love doing. That's what we're going to keep doing um, this summer when we go full-time on the road. 
we've got just uh, we've got a huge spreadsheet of the south island of all these sort of places to go so make make sure you stay tuned uh, if you like to subscribe if you like what we're up to um, hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video